Sorry guys, we got cut off there. What we have so far is we have Ten of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Five of Cups, The Sun, and Ace of Wands. So what we have so far. Ten of Swords is about something that it's no longer happening anymore, but you are still processing it. So something that has happened, something that you have not fully processed yet. This is going to be about the adjustment that's being made. As this has occurred, you're adjusting to that instance. And then having three of pentacles and having five of cups, this is about you working with yourself. This can be about working with heavier feelings, working with loss, working with grieving, working with readjusting expectations, working with acceptance. And so this is going to be about integration that's happening. Now the sun is coming out. What this means with the sun is that over here, this is about feelings that are related to the past and ultimately about having a hard time for all of the many reasons that we can, ultimately having a hard time accepting what has happened. I thought it was gonna be different. I didn't think this was gonna happen. Why did it go like that? All focused on past, past is over here. Now sun is coming out. Sun is about something very happy happening, and this looks like it's presently going on. So it's sort of like the back-to-back -back of these two energies. On one hand, I'm feeling really sad, or I'm feeling upset about that, or I'm still having a hard time coming to terms with it. On the other hand, something really happy is going on. And it feels too like this is a very happy opportunity. This is a door that's opening that you'd feel very thrilled about having now. It feels though like you're bearing the weight of these things simultaneously. On one hand, I still haven't totally come to terms with that thing that had taken place. On the other hand, I'm very excited about this opportunity in front of me and I'm, I'm figuring out how to do both of those things right now. How do I experience both of these things simultaneously and not get stuck? How do I keep working through? How do I keep moving through? Even this chariot card is about that sense of duality. There's that side of things and there's this side of things. It feels like having to tend to both of them. So there may be a little bit of back and forth that you're doing rather than just being like, yay, happy opportunity here. Nothing else matters anymore. There's also still the dealing with things, the processing of things that have occurred that are still impacting you that are going to be integrated. And then you can feel like you're fully embracing what's in front of you, but you can feel like you're not at that point yet. Okay, immediately something that I'm seeing here, having the sun and having the ace of wands, this is a really great opportunity in front of you. What that means is that a most ideal door is opening. What this looks like though, with eight of cups and seven of swords, it can be like you, you initially wanted strawberry ice cream. You went to the store and they only had mint ice cream and you're like okay i'll just have this mint ice cream then and it's not even really what you wanted but there was this you know like mint ice cream isn't that bad i'm gonna have it and so you start having it and then there's that that connection that you make to that if that's what's going on and then it gets knocked out of your hand so you didn't get to finish it. You're still coming to terms with that. Like the ice cream is on the floor. It already happened. So it's not like you're still losing the ice cream anymore, but psychologically you can feel like you are because there's still a, like, I haven't totally accepted that that happened yet. I'm having a really hard time with it. Two of Pentacles feels like, what do I prioritize now when I'm still having a hard time processing that? And how do I adjust to this thing that I feel very upset about? that I'm still like, that was a lot for me and I'm still coming to terms with it. Three of Pentacles is about being open to working with that part of yourself and adjusting to 
what is happening now. So this means that from a psychological and emotional standpoint, going to have to process this stuff that's going on with the five of cups, but it can feel like a part of you, a part of you emotionally, psychologically, that's really difficult to work with. And you may feel like I don't want to work with that part of myself. I don't want to accept this. Even though like it is what happened and you know that there can be a part of you that's like I'm attached to the idea that that wasn't going to happen, that something else was going to happen. And so having a really hard time getting out of that. It's kind of like trapped within this. And so it keeps you in this cycle of sort of reliving this again and again because it you don't get a different outcome. If the ice cream fell on the ground, it fell on the ground. And so it's never not going to, you know, like that is what happened. That's not going to change. But then it feels very much like it's, now they're bringing you out a free ice cream and it's strawberry and it's actually the one that you wanted. The sun and the ace of wands, this is like the actual opportunity you wanted, but you're so distracted and so focused on that initial ice cream that fell over that you're not even realizing that they're giving you what you wanted all along. Like that strawberry ice cream is here. And not only are you getting the strawberry ice cream for free, you also got to experience that other one for a little bit too. So you're getting even more than you bargained for. So that's what it is with the sun and the ace of wands coming through. And there's a part of you that's like not able to see that kind of, you know when you're upset about something and even though a great opportunity can come through or something amazing can be happening, there's that part of you that's like, well, I'm still not over the fact that this didn't happen or whatever. And so I can't, I'm not really in that place with myself to observe or to recognize what great of an opportunity this is in front of me. And then thinking about like, I don't want that, pushing it away or walking away from it. And then later on, you're gonna come back and be like, why did I do that? Like I wasn't thinking clearly in that moment. I'm seeing, I'm seeing eight of cups and I'm seeing seven of swords. And why this is coming out is that if, if this situation that had already occurred, if this didn't happen and that energetically was wiped off of the table for you, you would see the sun and the ace of wands as something that you'd be so thrilled about that you would obviously move in the direction of. Like that's a no-brainer for me. Of, of course that's what I want to do. Of course that's where I want to go. But having this eight of cups here with the seven of swords, it feels like falsely looking at at something and saying I don't I don't want that and it feels like this thing that you actually do want and what is actually calling to you to participate in walking away from it under some type of false pretense of well it's not this other thing that I wanted even though that thing is over and done with and it feels like it's really not allowing you to see this opportunity in front of you but the reason how this works and we get into the cycle of it with five of cups and seven of swords is that five of cups is the part of you that can be refusing to accept what has taken place even though like it did accept it did um take place what happened it's just hasn't been fully accepted in not fully accepting that there's this being stuck on this thing where you're never going to get that outcome that you want and so you're actually keeping yourself in that space of things are not going to work out for you things are going to stay feeling like that because that outcome never changes but now something is coming through where it can actually give you the outcome that you want but you're turning away from it because of not accepting that other outcome but still keeping yourself in that space if that makes sense So you're not even giving yourself a chance at all because you're always going to get that same outcome of being disappointed within a situation that has already come to fruition and you know what happened. That never changes, but there can be a part of you that because of not accepting that, again, you stay in that situation and it never changes because that's already what happened, but then when new opportunities come knocking and present themselves to you, you shun them away, or maybe specifically just with this thing, pushing it away because of wanting that other thing to have worked out, but it didn't. And so it's 
you see what I'm saying here? There's like a redundancy within this and by refusing to process this, and this doesn't have to be a conscious thing. We have seven of swords here. This can be something that we're doing that we're not totally aware of. I'm just really having a hard time being within my feelings within this. I'm not really processing anything. And so I just keep staying in this, like having a hard time accepting it, having a hard time accepting it. So I'm getting that there's like a lot of emotional work here that is being done and it's going to help you prioritize ace of wands, new opportunities where what you want can actually come to fruition. Like that can actually be what you sort of want to happen and what you're looking for to happen, the experience that you want to have. Instead of putting all of your weight and putting all of your focus on something that did not work out and so it's not going to work out because it already happened and you already know the outcome. But emotionally, you may not have fully processed that. Psychologically, you may not have fully processed it. And this is an opportunity for you to work with yourself, for you to work with your shadow energy. Shadow energy is just things that you're doing automatically, things that you may not be aware of, and ways that ultimately you are stuck within cycles that are contained where you're not really moving out of them. And so it's the same thing that you keep repeating again and again and again. You think about it, you get upset with it, you're like, that shouldn't have happened. Get distracted by something else. Think about it again, that shouldn't have happened. I, I can't accept that. Get distracted by something else. It's like the same thing that keeps repeating. But there's going to be liberation within the acceptance of this, even though it can very much be something that you did not want. I didn't want that to happen. I thought something else was going to happen. I wanted things to be different. I still haven't gotten over that things didn't work out the way I think that they should have. That things didn't pan out the way I think that they should have. And so that's the thinking that keeps you actually reliving the same thing over and over again. Because until it's processed, you can't really leave the cycle. It feels too like the sun coming through and, and putting light on that, bringing awareness to that. So you can see like what you're actually doing by keeping yourself within that cycle of refusing acceptance. And even though it can be really difficult to do that because it means like things didn't work out how we wanted or how we think that they should have or how it worked for that person and why didn't it work out for me like that. It feels like getting to the bottom of a psychologically stuck state of still not letting something go. So this thing that keeps, you keep reliving it over and over and over again. When the sun is here saying, hey, like if you want to, if you want something happy, you know, if you want something that can actually feel fun for you or feel exciting for you, or this is an opportunity to, to inspire joy and levity within your life or some type of excitement, expression, a, a door for you to walk through that you can look at and as soon as you wipe your eyes you'll see this and be like wow how was i not seeing this the whole time that's right there for me i do feel like there if you're stuck in in this cycle it looks like an ace of wands which is going to be an opportunity is like right in front of you but because of being stuck in this cycle it almost feels like you would dismiss that without even realizing what's actually, what it's actually an opportunity for because of still not being over this other thing. And in retrospect, like once this is more so integrated, you would look back and be like, why did I dismiss that? Like, why did I do that? So it can feel like a moment of, I was not very clear headed when I was doing that. I wasn't even aware. And it's because this thing keeps you from being present within your life. This cycle, it keeps you focused on the past. It doesn't allow you to be present within your life. And it really like, it's a break. It keeps you disconnected from your intuition. Presently, that would be saying to you, 
hey, the sun's coming out now. Like, you can actually step into that. You can enjoy that. It doesn't have to be this crushing thing over and over and over again. You know, like things change. It's not going to be that moment over and over and over again. The season is changing. Times are changing. The tides are changing. And how do we prioritize and focus on and adjust to growth and potential now? Where it does feel like there is a, there's a bit of a restart here. And there is a new opportunity right in front of you. And it does feel like there is, there's connection and there's growth and there's learning and there is skill availability and development that can be found if you walk through this door and for some of you you're in this space where you're choosing like rather than that rather than potential rather than growth rather than things changing and expanding you're going to actively be choosing five of cups and seven of swords which is reliving this thing over and over again and not getting out of it when what you desperately want is to be liberated from it. Which is kind of strange. When you zoom out enough, you'll be able to recognize that. But when you're in it, it can be difficult to see because it's not like we consciously choose, I just want to be miserable and unhappy here. You have to like break down the psychology to really understand how you've been keeping yourself experiencing this thing over and over again, that if you allow yourself to accept it and process it, you will be able to continue upon your journey rather than being stuck on this loop. It's like a broken record again and again and again, and you, a different outcome is not going to happen. So refusing to accept it just keeps you experiencing that again and again and again. It's like banging into a wall over and over again, thinking that it's like gonna break and it's not going to. So you have to switch lanes here. And even though the opportunity is coming through, like, hey, you can switch lanes here. There's this part with Seven of Swords, there's this part of your energy that is like, I don't wanna switch lanes, I wanna keep doing this and you have a perfect opportunity to be able to switch lanes and keep going where you were trying to go anyway. It's like a different lane, but it's gonna to go to the same place where you were trying to go. So you'll be able to get to where the destination you were trying to go to. And this is like, no, I'd rather choose banging into the wall over and over again. And having Seven of Swords feels like there is a, I'm gaining awareness of this within me. But yeah, you could see how how five of cups, this like very focusing your energy all on what has happened and not allowing yourself to be present, how that's keeping you in that groove, in the same groove. And then doing things that constantly bring you back into this again. Because I feel like there's even a like you've been tapped on the shoulder and told if you just switch over to this lane over here this will get you to where you were trying to go and you like look at it and you're like yeah okay and then go back to banging into the wall again and again and i like that's what i'm seeing energetically within this like you've been made aware that that lane is there but yeah there can be a part of you that's just like really struggling with that shifting over and what I'm seeing is that energetically speaking it's the banging into the wall having a hard time processing that you can't get through that way there's another lane over here you've been notified that the other lane is over here and it will get you where you wanted to go in the first place anyway and that's a very viable option it's a great option like hey I can still get to where I was trying to go but being stuck on but I wanted to do it this way and that way is not working and so it's like missing the point like but this can take you where you wanted to go the whole time like why wouldn't you just shift over but being stuck on that but i wanted to go this way it's like the road is closed you can't go that way so you're gonna have to and seven of swords feels like this 
clouded thing that's going on where there's like if you could see outside of yourself you'd be like why am i doing that but by being so it feels like close to what's going on maybe having a hard time seeing that it feels very obvious what to do here but you can just be you know very just clouded by the heaviness of everything that's going on and like the the refusal and having a hard time being flexible with this that there's like an adaption that needs to be made and that can really be what's going on so the silver lining is that there's a lane right next to you that you can get in and it will take you exactly where you were trying to go in the first place and so that is still an option like the whole reason you you started traveling in the first place was to get to somewhere where now you have the option to get there you just can't go the way that on the path that you were going on before there's a roadblock and you have to shift lanes This is gonna be emotional work that gets brought up within this. To have King of Cups on the bottom of the deck, this is about how you process things, what's going on psychologically, what's going on emotionally, and how you're dealing with things like disappointment, how you're dealing with things like sadness, how you're dealing with loss, how you're dealing with grieving, how you're dealing with adaptability. flexibility all right my friends we are going to leave the reading here i would like to thank everyone for connecting thank you for tuning in i am sending everybody love and i hope to catch you guys next time